Hey y'all, Sparrow here, uh, the Resonant Rogues. I've had a bunch of folks ask me how to play my original tune, Ridge Lines, so I decided to do a little claw hammer banjo tutorial on the song. I'm gonna play through it nice and slow, just the whole way through the main melody instrumentally, and then I'll break it all down. So here goes. <laughs> in G, but I am playing it um, in a kind of alternate tuning for G. So I'm playing it in A modal, and the fifth string is tuned down to G. So the strings are, from the fifth string, we've got G, we've got E, we've got A, we've got D, and we've got another E up there. So that means that unlike many banjo tunings where you have kind of a very easy open, um, open chord, um, our home bass chord is using three fingers right here. So this is the G chord. If you've played much in A modal, you'll recognize that little chord shape as the seven in A modal, which is a G. So I'm on the third fret on this fourth string, the second fret on the third string, we've got an open second string, and then the first string I am on the third fret again. So that's kind of the home bass chord in G. I'm gonna go through all the main chords because this song, even though it has um, definitely a lot of melody happening, uh, I'm also just playing chords and especially in the chorus is pretty much mostly chords. Um, so here is the G chord and then we have got the E minor chord. I'll do that next because that's another home base chord here. So E minor chord is open on the first string, second fret on the second string which you'll notice is the same note and that means you need to make really sure to be very in tune because <laughs> you'll very much notice if one of those strings is out of tune when they're playing the same note. Uh, and then we've got the second fret on the third string and then an open fourth string. So there's your E minor chord. Um, and then we've got a C chord. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, C chord, which is the four chord here. Um, so G is the one. That is the first note in the key that it's in. Uh, e minor is the minor six. The four chord is going to be the C, which looks like this. So we've got third fret here, second fret here third fret here, and then open. Nice. And then we have one more main chord here, which is a D chord, the five chord. And that looks like this. We've got second fret, open, open, second fret. Uh, there is one more chord in this song, and it's a little bit of a weird one. Um, I have it written out as F sharp diminished over B, but 
I don't know. It's just, this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, so we've got the second fret here, first fret there, open string, and second fret. And that just comes from this, and then you just put that finger down, and that's how I wrote it. I wasn't thinking about the um, music theory behind why that sounded nice. I just put it in there. So, um, so let's go ahead and go to the melody of the A part now. Um, and you'll notice where all of those chords get thrown in. So we're going to start out with some pull-offs and then a drop thumb. And then you're going to hammer on with the E minor chord. So just that little bit of melody looks and sounds like this. We're going to do that same little intro, but then it's going to land on the G chord. So. So you'll notice that the way I'm like doing the strum ditties um, is while well, I'm playing the bum, strum, thumb, bum, strum, thumb, um, kind of for a lot of these chords. I'm playing like a bit of a melody note, but then filling in the chord after that. So that whole first section goes like this. And at any point in time, if you need to redo anything, this is the internet. So you can just pause it and go back. If you want it to go even slower, there's a very handy little wheel symbol down there uh, where you can change the speed of any YouTube video. So that was a very mind-blowing thing when I learned how to do it. Maybe it's cheating, but whatever. Whatever helps us learn, right? Um, so, yeah. Uh, moving on from there, we've got, let me just play that part again so we can find our place. Now we're going to hammer on on this third string. And I'm keeping that chord shape down for the most part. You can just hammer on with this or you can hammer with both. And then we're going to go to that. C chord, so, and then to the D chord, and then a hammer on here to the E minor. So that whole, that whole little section one more time is hammered in C chord, and I'm hitting this second string for my bums, and then same second string, down to the third string, and then hammering on on the third string. All right, and then it kind of starts over, but it has a second ending, so we're gonna do this again. Instead of going to the E minor, we're going to go home to that G. And if you're playing along to the like recorded version of the song um, or trying to learn kind of the arrangement, how we do it, um, we actually start the very beginning of the song halfway through that. So it lands on that G major. So it sounds like this. of a songwriting device to have there be some of the melody at the beginning but we didn't want to make it so long to like go through the whole form so that the vocals could come in um so yeah that's what's going on there um i'm gonna do that one more time and i'm gonna try to say the chords um as i'm doing it so, so e minor g 
So that is the main part of the melody for the verses. Um, the way that I play the chorus has like bits of melody thrown in, but it is very chord heavy, very chord based. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. And I, when I'm doing a lot of my strumming, you might notice that I'm doing kind of a pattern of. So there's kind of two different main ways that I'm doing my strumming pattern. I'm either doing a basic bum ditty, using the bum on a single note, uh, usually doing kind of an alternate bass on that, and then the strum ditty, uh, doing the whole chord. So like that would sound like this. Or I use a syncopated thing with a drop thumb that sounds like this. could be something for you to throw into your own songwriting or other tunes that you've learned. Um, I'll slow it down just a little bit and break that down. So bum, strum, thumb, ba -dum, bum. So, so it's a little bit syncopated. Um, you move your thumb down and you kind of skip one of those things I haven't explained very often in my life. I just kind of started doing it and um, it's how I play a lot of the time. So um, if you're ever wondering what's that weird syncopated thing that she's doing, there's an extra slow-mo version of it. There's a different version. All right back to the song. <laughs> um, so the song, uh, the chorus starts out on a C. So we're going to go from this G shape that we just landed on to the C chord. So we've got that hammer and bum. And then back to the G. Oh, sorry. It goes to the D right there. So, hammer and C, D. One more time. Hammer and. I'm playing the second string there. And then the second string again. Third string. Third string. Second string. And then it goes to an E minor. Hammer and. You notice that hammer and will be the same notes, even though I'm using, I'm coming from an E minor chord here. And the first time I was coming from a G major, but they both have that second fret on the third string happening. So um, still has the same kind of feel, even though it's coming from a different chord. of the chorus um, has a lot of the melody in there and then kind of like halfway through the chorus I mostly am just playing chords in a pretty way. So um, that whole chorus one more time the whole way through 
um, and I'll try and like explain any kind of weird spots. So we've got C chord and second string, second string with the D chord, G chord, second string with the C chord, second string with the D chord. There's a melody note there with the third string. And then E minor. that whole thing nice and slow but without stopping so from the G chord Sorry about that. So that's how the song goes. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Um, and let me know also if there's any other songs that you want me to do tutorials for. I know that this is kind of like a, an intermediate, at least, uh, banjo tutorial video. I've been playing Clawhammer banjo for almost 20 years now. So um, if you are just learning, hang in there and keep having fun with it because that's the most important part. And uh, if you've been playing for a long time, there's always new things to learn. I'm still learning tons of stuff. And uh, thank you so much for coming and playing banjo with me. Oh, make sure to do all the things, like and follow and comment and listen, tell your friends, all that good stuff. All right. See you next time.